perfect. Okay, good. Well, Kay, I think we're going to be doing it first and we're going to be getting naked on Between Two Pines. Uh, that sounds good to me. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> yep. I'm, we're doing a special episode today from Vancouver Webfest, so I don't think they would appreciate me sneaking in a bunch of beer. Mm. And at, at least not before four. <laughs> yes. And now Kay here is from uh, up from down in uh, California and she's here promoting her awesome web series called late bloomer yeah and now you're on YouTube and you are a juggernaut you've got five seasons out now I am on my 80th episode I do 20 a year and basically what I want to do is inspire anyone who is physically able to grow their own food and take charge of their food security our world is in a kind of a precarious place and I believe the best thing that we can do is all start growing our food if we're able. That's actually really interesting. I have I have three roommates and last spring we got they got really excited and planted a huge garden in our oh, that's backyard. Awesome. Yeah, we discovered that if you grow kale and you have a food dehydrator, you can basically make your own chips. You can. I tried I tried making my own chips once, but it was a, it was a bit of a disaster. You need a, a dehydrator that's helpful. Yeah. And now I uh, I was actually checking your show out on YouTube and I'll put links below so you guys can check out our great series cuz it's like gardening is really cool and and really like an amazing thing, but you just did your first vlog. I did my first vlog and I'm hoping that I tap into the people who are watching vlogs because I hadn't watched vlogs, but I know they're really really hot now and um, and I did a vlog of my adventure coming up to Vancouver Webfest and uh, it's going to be in five parts each part is each day that I'm here in Vancouver so please check it out that's great and now I actually saw one of your episodes in the Webfest that was all about rain and I thought it was really funny because this is the Vancouver Webfest and man we get a lot of rain up here and we don't that's just it California as you may know is in its seventh year of drought and Atypically, right now, we're, we are having some El Nino rain, but seriously, it's gotten very bad. So if you're trying to grow your own food, you want to be capturing your own rainwater. And so this episode is about this historic 130-year rain. It broke the record for 130 years. It rained on July 18th. And so I started filming because it was so rare. That, I mean, and this 130 was... years. Yeah, this was just this past July. Oh, wow. So that's 2015. And so since I have some friends around the world that are watching Late Bloomer, uh, garden friends, I thought, let me get have them send me clips from some, some big rain event where they are, and I incorporated that into the episode. So it's, I wanted to show that here because I felt like it, uh, you have a very international audience here. I actually, I thought that part was amazing. It was, it was really a wonderful example of how the internet and YouTube and things. I know, like, isn't it, it awesome? It is, it's, it's amazing. I, I mean, I have a following in Turkey. Mm, I love you, Turkey. <laughs> That's awesome. But now, I think we need to get more serious because uh, yeah. I was watching your series and I understand you suffered a tragic loss recently. Freddy the tobacco <laughs> hornworm, he, he abandoned you? <laughs> I am not sure what happened to Freddie. Uh, it's kind of a mystery. Freddie is a, a tobacco hornworm. Hornworm is one of the biggest devourers of your tomatoes and peppers and eggplants in the garden. And I had been lucky. I'd never seen a big one in my garden uh, until this fourth summer, just this past summer. And uh, so I decided to capture Freddie. Well, it's easy to capture. They're the, this big, big old caterpillar. You just cut a leaf and and I brought it in the house and I wanted to see it transform into uh, a moth yeah but I I didn't know I didn't know anything about it and I, I made a lot of mistakes and Freddy disappeared he vanished you have to see the Freddy episode yeah I'm definitely <laughs> gonna put a link down to that I found it was really neat and now you like I watched your series and it's like I work as a videographer and your series is really well shot and the sound oh, you. is great. You've got great thank animations. You. Yeah, can thank you. you. Can well, you share I, a I'd that? love to talk about that. Um, now, I have a, a background in photography, uh, mainly still photography. Oh, were those your stills in the show? All of the photography and cinematography is mine. Wow, that's awesome. I film it all. And the, the, the thing is, uh, unlike a, a scripted series where you can plan a shoot day, Things happen in the garden day and night, and I just have to be ready. My camera's always sitting there, and I run out, and sometimes I might not use a clip for two or three years, but I'll remember I have that, and that can add to... I try to tell the whole story of the garden, or from a, a, a plant, like tomatoes. I have a 
five-part DVD, uh, five-part Growing Heirloom Tomatoes DVD that's Excellent. going to be on Amazon. Wonderful. Growing Heirloom Tomatoes, so please buy one. I will put another link to that. There will be a <laughs> bunch of links below this video. And uh, I try to tell the story from the seed to seed. Uh, there are a million garden videos on YouTube, but uh, basically it's people just going out that day and, and posting that video. But mine's a real show, and I really try it. It's, it's basically a documentary show. It is really well edited. Like I, I know other corporate videographers who would be very impressed with it. I was work. going to say I want to give credit to my editor, Megan Adef, who has been with me for four years. And you're doing a great job, Megan. And Yes, she has been. And, um, and uh, my sound editor absolutely saves me because I live in a noisy neighborhood. Just like the room we're in right now. I'm sorry about the noise, audience. Yeah, yeah, and um, and so she, uh, my sound editor takes e everything that I give her and and makes it all sound wonderful. And uh, I, 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 my show would not be what it is without my sound editor or my editor. And my animations are actually um, a graphics artist that created all of my motion graphics when I started. And I, when I started, I really wanted it to be a family show. It's G-rated. And uh, I, want, I want young parents to be uh, teaching their kids where food comes from. And so I thought if I put in these animations of bugs and insects and ladybugs and bees, and, and you know, you're not always going to get one of those in, in every episode. Uh, it, the animation uh, speaks for itself, and it w I thought it would really attract uh, children to the, uh, to the show. Well, it's pretty attractive even to adults. I, oh, I like you. it a lot. Now, we only have a, about a minute left, but what I'd really like to drink. ask you, yeah, mm -hmm. is um, like in a perfect world, like anything you want, what would you want your show to do? Would you want to be on TV? Would yes. You, and like, would, would that be half hour <laughs> weekly segments? What I would love to do, when I started, I wanted to be, and I don't know how many people in Vancouver know who Huell Hauser was, but he had a show on PBS for 20-something years called California Gold and he would go around and interview all these wonderful people. And when I started, I said, I want to be the Huell Hauser of organic gardening. I want to go around and share uh, inspirational stories from other people who are growing their own food and who are making the world a better place. And, um, you know, I'm limited by funds now because so a, most of my shows take place in my garden. Which is but, a very inexpensive but, place. <laughs> right, but I envision I envision, uh, I want to do an episode while I'm in Vancouver. I want to go to a garden tomorrow. Well, hopefully it's not raining. I know. That's um, <laughs> an issue. <laughs> so is there is there a specific channel for that? Like, Well, HGTV, yeah. okay. uh, or it could be on Amazon, wow. or, um, you know, there. I think there's a lot of places for Late Bloomer in its current incarnation, but I... I, I want to be like the Katie Couric of organic gardening, so I could be an, an, intervi an interview show anywhere on any network, interviewing people who are growing their own food. That is amazing, Kate. Thank you Thank so you. much for You're joining welcome. us today. I'm and so excited. I, it's, oh, man, I was so blown away by how good your show was. Thank you so much. But, hey, guys, thanks for joining us on this ep special episode of Between Two Pints from the 2016 Vancouver Web Fest. This is Kay from Late Bloomers. I'm going to put all the links to all the things we talked about below, but she's on YouTube too, so go subscribe to her and check out her stuff and leave some cool comments below. Yes, I'd love, I love your comments. Uh, so far, I've answered ev every single comment that I've ever gotten. So Excellent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a bunch tonight <laughs> so you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> well, I may get to that in two days. <laughs> <laughs> great. Well, have a great day, Kay. Thank you. And Cheers. take care, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>